Ignatius487 here, and welcome back, welcome back. We're heading to speak with Miss Ellie of the detective agency. I don't know if I should take Nick Valentine with me or not. <coughs> I think it's kind of just I'm around you. Take him with you, so that's probably what I'll do. Let's hear it. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mm -hmm. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you need him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'm on it. I'll go check it out. Thanks. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. All right. Let's. Ada is such a beast. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> okay, you know, leave her here because she's she can carry a lot of weight, which will be super handy. She is uh, very strong, but I think for role playing type purposes. I need to go get Nick Valentine. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. <clears throat> that's cool. It looks like a like an old school scuba suit almost. I'm super pumped to see what kind of new items we get, what kind of new enemies there are. More more XP for completing quests for me, which has been difficult because <laughs> I'm stupidly high level. Settler? Oh. Who's that? D what? Oh, right. Because I did not side with, uh... Yeah. Alright. Preston Garvey. McCready. If I can find him, damn. Isn't he here? There's dance. Uh, Curie. Oh, yeah. Hey, there you are. Let's head out. <clears throat> what the hell? The game just freeze out on me? No. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Yeah. Let's head out. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Hangman's Alley. Couple of sources saying that you were the one leading the institute attack on the Pridwin. So you want to tell me why you did it? Why you sided with those boogeymen? Brotherhood was a menace. You know what the Brotherhood would have done to the Commonwealth, Nick. I did the right thing here. Look, no one had more reason to dislike the Brotherhood than me. But this? Wiping them out? And the railroad? All those lives lost. <laughs> what? So a group of mad scientists can keep plundering the Commonwealth to their heart's content? Is that truly the world you want to live in? <clears throat> I 
want to live in a world with a future, Nick. And the Institute? That's humanity's future now. Thanks to you. <laughs> Since the first time we met, I'd always got the sense that you were going to change this place. I just never expected it to be like this. Now time to be careful. Best to just keep moving. Huh. Alright. Well, that could have ended worse than it did. We are going up here. Come with me, Nick. <sighs> Sorry. The lovely water. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. All right. Let us do this. There's Nick. Okay. Wee. Wee. What the hell? Where'd it go? There we are. I wish that I could do the whole like workshop thing anywhere and like pick up all the crap that's lying around in 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 the city kind of clean up Boston Is there a house up here? <laughs> I like Nick Nick's a cool dude. Made him mad there, I reckon, with my decision to use the Institute as my final, my end quest. What? Oh. Okay. There's a glowing one right there. Interesting. <laughs> I can't hit it with my shotgun from that far away. Wow, really? Oh, that's fair, I guess. Give me icing death, yeah. Oh yeah. Give me that tasty ammo. Yeah. Sploosh. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, there it is. I can see the house. Meow. Come on, Nick. Where you at? Is there anything in here? Of importance or relevance? Why, yes, there is. Ooh, raise your grain. I like me some... Really? That's kind of neat. You can walk through the walls up here. You got a little sloppy with the, with the clipping. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Can't you please? We've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Raiders. Uh. Someone has her. Raiders or gunners or God knows. I uh, hope you don't mind. You let our child 
she could be. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kendi, was it? Why don't you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more yeah. eyes, the better. <laughs> so, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? No. I with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Hmm. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that matters. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Here to help. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Uh-huh. Kasumi likes to fix things. The Ooh. was her latest project. Kasumi's a fun name. With some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Well, maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She mm -hmm. knows how to survive, and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. <coughs> we'll find her. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Okay, so we have to investigate the we'll the, the room. Interest. Just sit tight. Mrs. Nakano. You have questions about my daughter. I do. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Like shine a light on where she's coming from. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But mm -hmm. why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Tell us wrong. Detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more all of us ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away he was the only one that could really talk to her Kenji and I don't understand machines but those two could work together for hours she started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss but now I wonder what the boathouse <coughs> okay Got it. Nothing else right now. I need to look at the boathouse. Uh, I guess that's the boathouse. Yeah. <laughs> Those bobs for like fishing. Enormous fishing bobs. Don't sass me, Nick. Cool guy, Nick. Hmm. What am I looking for here? Dear Kasumi, if you ever get locked out of the safe, then the answer is here in the boathouse. Fix it where the key is. <clears throat> okay. I gotcha. Mm. No, no. There we go. Hmm. They are trying to build a place for their kind where 
they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and the questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but <coughs> there are things in my childhood. Huh. She thinks she's a synth. Okay. I, I'm going to go to meet these synths. I I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Until next time, Bon Vitina, and we will see you next video.